done our laravel api controller so now you can try in postman is uh, login detail is right or not uh, but our major goal is use this api in react native for that you need a uh, create ui first of all then use hooks to uh, pass the value text box to your hooks after that we will check by uh, fetch function to use this url our information is correct or not so for ui i done couple of thing here you can see uh, i install native base framework for ui and is fresh installed react native empty project just i uh, put status bar nothing fancy so first of all i will go to container inside the container i will call content content after content we will say title this all components coming from native base and here you will say uh, login with laravel api just save it i think we put here only okay inside content after the header i will call cart atom card atom card atom will contain text first of all has a heading login with laravel laravel api because that was title and here just put inside style dot title or heading heading and here you will say heading simply a uh, test line center and flex one that's it okay font size you can use 20 that's fine uh, this warning because i have a uh, enable my debug here you just refresh the app from here warning will go okay is cut at them cut at them i will call it header save it that's it uh, second card item i will call it uh, is input input coming from your uh, native base name it placeholder for email okay and here i will style it styles dot my input that's it and here i will say input sorry not here here input border width one is one pixel border color i like blue you can use any both low and couple of things need here value value is email email coming from your uh yeah hooks i already uh import use state to use this values so for that i will i can use this constants is email second is set email set email use state this function that's it copy this for password password set password p capital that's it and here is email coming from that yeah save it uh, it's blue why is error border width i think it is a spelling mistake okay nice this email coming from your this email and here you will say on chain text 
we will put here value value goes to set your email uh, this uh, we use update state that type of function change with value okay that's nice now copy this for your password change your password here change your set password that's it password simply now one more card item for your button button i will use from uh, native base is primary primary for blue color blue black color block for full width and just on press i need here my function name is my function my function simply uh, this not we have closed this button is inline closing here inside this we have to put text login and for login i need a style style dot btn and here i will put my btn style simply first of all i need color because it's by default color is black and font size 22 that's fine save it uh, my function is not defined i know here i will put my function this type of function i need to okay save it uh, my function is not defined why okay uh, my function let me reload uh, reload app okay function is now uh, it's not uh, full width because for that we have to use body this body body coming from here native base framework that's fine uh, closing tag after button save it uh, here is your button now if i put here I need to alert the email value so for that just alert sorry alert email save it if I put here something it will alert uh, let me put my name a deep sign yeah, okay now our boring part is complete i mean we're done with ui now main part is here we need to use this functionality to test our login by app we've just display login a successful or wrong login detail so for that here you will say await await function with this uh, fetch function a local host my uh, address you already know i am on mac if this is a port and lara 6 is my uh, laravel project and api um, the route and login is this okay here first of all you have to define your method method is post second you need to define your headers is accept which application application json and second content type we have to tell which content type is content type also application plus this uh, this is common and after this you have to Tell the body. Body is JSON dot stringify. This is the main part where we will uh, put our field name. Is email which will uh, we send by network. Okay. And here I will put my email. Just simply email which we already uh, got 
and here uh, okay this is the error okay no problem uh, okay actually uh, it's not a error we have to put this password and this is wrong uh, bracket by me okay. sorry uh, here password just simply and here then function to response put response to json function json function simply and here then function now we have our response data response data i will uh, sorry i will console first of all my response data it's up to you you can uh, you can alert also but for that we need to put a response data dot message so that's why uh, I have an error here. Okay, that's fine. Uh, go to browser, open your console, reload again app. Okay, console was cleared. Everything is okay. Here I will put my email ID. Packages mm, not ready. Not problem. Reload again. I put my email ID and password this time is not right click login login wrong detail code is 501 that's fine now if you want to alert something just put there alert response data dot message message simply reload app reload by browser actually this is recommend okay here i just put my information login detail i you know mm, here is correct information click login and you got login successful cool if i put this wrong wrong login detail both side you can see with code also so it was quick tutorial laravel api login in react native so i hope uh, you enjoy this uh, if you want to use uh, online api just go to this link okay this is uh, my new website open menu free api here you can use any api and you can say login api this is the correct api use with this information just put this okay you can use this and any other users you can see here this is a list of the users okay so i hope you enjoy the video and learn something uh, if you have any error please comment below i will solve try to solve okay thank you see you in the next video